Okay, so in today's tutorial, we are going to be utilizing the gradient node and doing some special stuff and making some patterns just like the ones you see here. If you want to download this project file and check out the nodes and see what I've done, you can get that on Gumroad for a dollar. You guys on Patreon, you'll be getting that for free. So let's dive into how to make this stuff. All right, so you can just drop in whatever model you want. I'll be just using the Icosphere and just going to subdivide it so it's nice and round and smooth. So let's hop over to shading. Let's hit Z and go to look dev. And I'm just going to turn off this background. And in my uh, my EV settings, I'm going to kill bloom so I can see everything nice and flat. So let's click new. And first thing we're going to do is add a color ramp just like this. Plug that in there. Now I'm going to add a gradient. Gradient texture, plug the color directly into the color ramp. So now we're going to get a gradient. You can see it working just like that. Okay, so how do we manipulate this gradient? So let's just open up a noise texture, plug that here and get a mix RGB node, plug that here and plug the noise here. So if we just keep it here in the middle and we bring the color ramp and do more of this, you can start to see it working. I'm just going to change it to constant so it's a little bit more obvious of what's actually going on here. And so now that we have this gradient working with the noise, so if we just have the, the mix shader all the way to the edge here on the factor, it is just the solid gradient. We can just bring it back to ease and you could see just the gradient. Let's go back to a constant because I like the way that looks. If we take this mix RGB and bring it all the way over here, you're just looking at the noise. So having these two interact with each other, I'll see if we can bring up a scale here just like that. And now we have something really, really cool. Now I have the node wrangler add on put in. So I'm just going to hit control T and add a texture setup. Just you just add in a mapping node any texture coordinate node. And then you can just bring this and plug that there. So now we can manipulate where this is going to be positioned around on our object, bring it here, say on the bottom, give it 90 degrees. So now it's here on the bottom, play around. And if you want to add more levels of detail, we can add another noise texture here with a mix RGB and plug that there and then put the generated socket here to the color. And then, so we're going to make it look kind of like spray paint. So we're going to just bring it here, bring up the scale, and it kind of looks like spray paint here, what we're working with. So that's just one idea. Let's just forget these two things right here. And instead of a noise texture, you can plop in whatever texture you want. Let's let's try Voronoi. Just put in a Voronoi. Now this, this just works with anything. You can just work with patterns, anything you'd like. So now we have these circles in the Voronoi, playing it with like that. We can take this color ramp and bring it down. So now you can animate some fun stuff like that. You can do a uh, transition material. So it goes from black to white. So you can have a lot of fun with that look. So you can just play with it, bring it up, bring it more toward this way. So it's that simple. You can go in and play with textures and looks and have a lot of fun and apply this to whatever model you want. It's really fun with design. So there you go. Hope you learned something and thanks for watching.